Thank you for participating in the Maine Winter Sports Center's Healthy Hometowns Equipment Rental Program. The purpose of this video is to familiarize you with the basic use procedures for our Nordic ski trailers. This video will cover the following. A general overview of the trailer, towing guidelines, storing and securing the equipment, and care and handling of the equipment. Each Nordic ski trailer contains 50 pairs of Nordic skis with bindings, 110 centimeters to 210 centimeters, 70 pairs of Nordic ski poles, 90 centimeters to 160 centimeters, 70 pairs of Nordic ski boots, 26 European size, 46 European size, one wooden bench, one wooden ski rack, extra hat and extra gloves, and one spare tire. All of the Nordic ski trailers have a 2 inch ball coupler. This coupler is compatible only with a 2 inch ball hitch. If you are unaware of what size ball hitch you have, the size is usually stamped on top of the ball. All of the Nordic ski trailers have a four-way flat light connector. This connector runs the brake, blinker, and running lights for the trailer. The following steps demonstrate how to attach a ski trailer to a towing vehicle. Unlock the coupler lock from the coupler latch and raise the coupler latch to the vertical position. Raise the trailer jack until the coupler is higher than the ball hitch. Reverse the tow vehicle until the ball hitch is positioned directly underneath the coupler. Lower the trailer jack until the ball hitch is completely seated in the coupler. Raise the trailer jack to the highest position. Move the coupler latch to the horizontal position to secure the coupler to the ball. If the latch does not engage easily, the ball may not be positioned correctly in the coupler. Pull forward slightly to seat the ball in the coupler. Place the coupler lock in the coupler latch and lock it. Attach the towing chains to the towing hitch receiver. Make sure that the chains do not drag on the ground. Attach the trailers four-way flat plug to the tow vehicle's female four-way flat plug. Make sure to clean off any snow, ice, or road grime that may have accumulated on the plug. Make sure you chalk the trailer wheel before detaching the trailer from a tow vehicle to prevent it from running away. Turn on the towing vehicle's hazard lights. Walk to the rear of the trailer and observe that both the right and left trailer lights are blinking. Perform a visual check of both trailer tires to make sure that they are tight on the axle hubs and have adequate tire pressure. Perform a check of the equipment in the trailer to make sure that the equipment is properly positioned and secured inside the trailer. Perform a double check of the towing setup to make sure everything is properly hooked up. The trailers are equipped with plastic latches to hold the doors open during use. In high wind areas, it is not recommended to use the door latches. Always make sure the latches are disengaged before shutting the doors. The skis are located on the inside wall of the trailer. They are secured in pairs inside PVC racks. The skis are organized by ski length. Ski length is written on the trailer walls and can be found on the top sheet of the ski. There are also several pairs of skis secured to the ceiling via a hanging wire. The poles are located inside the rear doors of the trailer. The poles are secured by running an elastic bungee cord around them. They are organized by length. The pole length is written on the hanging rack and on the pole basket. The boots are located at the rear of the trailer. They are placed in the rack 
with the heel facing out. When positioned correctly, the boots will remain on the rack during transportation. The boots are organized by size. The size is written on the rack as well as on the heel of the boot. A bench and ski rack are provided in the trailer for you. They are the first items that come out of the trailer and the last items to go back in. The bench and rack are placed in the center of the trailer floor. When parking the trailer, make sure to keep the light plug off the ground by wrapping it around the handle for the trailer jack. When using the trailer unhooked from a tow vehicle, lower the trailer tongue to angle the trailer forward to prevent it from tipping backwards. Skis are made to go on snow only. Do not use the skis on dirt, grass, or pavement. Do not jam the skis into snow no matter how deep or shallow it may seem. This can cause delamination of the skis. We hope you enjoy using our Healthy Hometowns cross-country skiing equipment. Be safe and have fun. For more information on Healthy Hometown programs or other programs at the Maine Winter Sports Center, visit www.mainewsc.org.